Hey guys, this is MacKids101, and today I'm going to be making a video about Lion and the new features in Lion. Now, I've had Lion for a couple of days now, well, the latest version uh, that Apple has given out on Monday to its developers. And on Monday, during WWDC, Apple showed you 10 new features in Lion, and they told you that these are just 10 of over 250 new features. Now, I can't tell you all of the features because... Um, as a developer, um, I'm not allowed to give away information that Apple hasn't given away. But I can tell you these new features, and if you find one of the list of all the new features, you can go to Apple.com, and I'll have a link in the description and these exactly where you can find all the new features. But first off, I'm just going to tell you exactly what they said in the WWDC keynote address. So first off was multi-touch gestures. Now, Apple's already introduced uh, multi-touch gestures into their um, older operating systems, and it's, onto their and it's on their phones, and most of their computers now support the hardware, and even their desktops, they sell the Magic Trackpad. So, you can use multi-touch gestures, like with three fingers, you can, and two fingers, you can zoom in on Safari, like just like you do on the iPhone, instead of making it bigger by pressing Command Plus, you can actually zoom in onto a page. Um, you can um, use you can go between spaces and mission control and your full screen apps, and I'm going to be talking about a little bit more about that. So as I mentioned, full screen apps. So now almost all of Apple's applications um, are full screen, and they're trying to encourage developers to make full screen apps too. So, um, so they made more APIs for full screen apps. And like if an app is in full screen, like usually, like in Line, I mean in Snow Leopard, if an app was in full screen, that app is full screen. Like if you're watching a movie in full screen, that's in full screen and you can't see anything else and it kind of sucks. Um, well, in Lion, full screen apps go into like a separate space, which um, you can navigate through mission control. I'll talk about that in a second. But um, they go in a separate space and then you can go back to the other spaces to see the non-full screen apps. So... It's pretty cool, and you can have more than one full screen app running at the same time. Now, mission control. What is this? Well, there's now there's more and more ways to navigate between different things on your computer. There's spaces, there's expose, you have your dashboard, and there's full screen apps. So this is just a way of putting this all together. So mission control um, is a way where you just like see the desktop you're in. You see all your desktops all above it, like all your spaces, all your full screen apps. You can see expose, and you see your dashboard. So your dashboard's now not over a desktop, it's a separate desktop. So, um, mission control is a nice way of doing that. Now, the Mac App Store. Um, Lion is very big on the Mac App Store. Like, in fact, you can't even download Lion. Uh, you can't even buy Lion on a CD anymore or a DVD. It, you, you have to buy through the Mac App Store. They gave it to developers through the Mac App Store, and it comes built in. Their, Apple's trying to na get, navigate away from CDs. And more and more through um, app distribu distribution through um, via the internet. So the Mac App Store is going to be the great way to do that. Apps are becoming more and more popular on the Mac App Store. The only thing I don't like about the Mac App Store is 30% um, of the revenue goes to Apple. But if you were going to give the exact same application uh, online, you could... Um, get 100% of the profit and you don't actually like with the iPhone you need unless you jailbreak you need to put apps on the app store for people to download them and on a computer you can just download applications off the internet so pretty much the Mac app store is just a better way of having people find your applications now launchpad Apple's talked a lot about this what is this the launchpad is essentially a home screen for your Mac so what's this mean well on your home screen on an iPhone or an iPad you just see all your applications. You got more than one page. You can make folders. You can't have folders in thin folders because Apple's trying to get move away from the file system. But you can see all your applications, and uh, you can you can launch one right from the launch pad. So it's the exact same thing on the computer as it is on the home screen. It's just an icon that sits in your dock. You press it. You see all your applications. You can make folders. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Another new feature they talked about was resume. What is resume? Resume essentially is exactly what it sounds like. Whenever you leave anything, you can resume just by reopening it. So if I were to quit an application without saving or anything, just like I type us up some stuff in text edit, I quit, I reopen text edit, everything's there. The mouse, I mean the the text is still selected if it was selected. 
the windows are in the same spot, all the windows are there. So if even if I turn off my computer and I turn it back on, the same applications are open with the same windows in the same spots. So basically, uh, it's kind of like how things are on the iPhone. Basically, all of Line was essentially bringing things that are on in iOS back to the Mac. So um, I like Resume because like I actually hate restarting my computer. I know it's important, but I hate doing it because then I have to reopen all my applications. So Resume is a nice nifty way of just having everything back. So auto save, like I mentioned, when you quit, you didn't have to save, so and, and your stuff is still there. How's that work? Well, Apple's actually always saving stuff. You never have to save. If I type out a text edit document, I can just type things and it won't save. I won't need to save. And the only time I need to save is if I actually close the window. Because if I close the window, that means the window is now closed. And if I were to re resume that application, the window won't be there anymore. But even if I quit the application, the window will still be there with all my data. So you never need to save, which is good because I can't tell you how many times I've lost data because... I should have saved, but I didn't. So this is going to be at least useful to me. Um, versions, versions. Well, since you got, since you're constantly saving, well, uh, sometimes you don't want to save. You you were more like, hey, I like that old version before. I why why did it save for me? Ah, oh, this is the end of the world. Well, it's not the end of the world because you can now go through versions, and since it's always saving, uh, it records different changes which each version it saves. So if you can like see different versions of a document, you can restore to an old version. You can actually cut and paste between an old version and a new version of a document. So like if you're working on a pages document, let's say, and you add a picture and then you delete the picture, but and you type up a bunch of new stuff. And you don't want to restore the whole document, lose your picture, lose all your stuff. You just want that picture and you can't find it on the internet anymore. You can just go into versions, find the version that had that picture and copy and paste just that picture. So I think that's pretty neat. AirDrop. AirDrop is essentially Apple thinks it's really hard and I kind of agree with them. There was no there's no best way of giving someone else a file. Sometimes people use USB sticks, sometimes they email to each other, sometimes they send it over iChat. There's no like real easy way, just there you go, there's your file. So uh, AirDrop essentially tries to solve that problem, but they still have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as you. But anyone who has Lion, who's connected to the same Wi-Fi network as you, um, assuming they have AirDrop enabled, you can just see their computer under the AirDrop menu, and then you drag any file onto their, the, their AirDrop icon, and it'll ask them if they want to accept, and they click accept, and it sends them the file. So that is AirDrop. Next is Mail. Mail is not really a new feature, it's just been improved, but yeah. So Mail, the they, they were just big on two big new parts of Mail. One was search. They added really good search optimization. So you can search, like, who sent something. You can add, it's hard to explain, but all right, let me, let me do the best I can. Basically, when you search something, you can search for a word. You can send, say, like, uh, let me search for dad. So I can say, uh sent to dad, from dad, anything containing dad, and then that's just one search tag. You can add as many search tags as you want. So really, and then you can search not just the mail you have on your computer, but onto your server, onto the web server. So that really helps you narrow down exactly what document you're looking for. And it's actually helped me a lot. So yeah, I've been playing around with all the new features just so that way I can... That, that's one of the reasons why this video, like instead of making it right on Monday, right after the keynote, so that way... Like it could be one of the first videos online. I wanted to mess around with Lion for about a week so that way I could actually have a full idea of what I'm talking about and not just repeating what I'm hearing in the keynote. So again, sorry this video is late. I just wanted to completely understand everything in Lion. All right, next was convos um, or conversations in uh, mail. Basically, um, conversations are just like, all right, if you've ever emailed someone and they email you back and you email them back, eventually it gets really confusing because you got more and more indented um, parts of the mail and you're like, all right, that's what I emailed before. This is what I'm emailing now. Sometimes when it gets too confusing, I just delete all the stuff and start a new email. So basically, um, convo conversations is just like it says, it shows the original email. Above that, like without anything indented, there's just a space in between. It shows the next email and... 
Alright, I don't know if you completely understood that, but it's, if you see it, you'll just be like, oh, I get it, and it's really easy to read. Alright, next is Lion Server. Now, for all other server options of Mac OS X, Apple used to say, alright, you can buy Mac OS X, you can buy Mac OS X server. Now, if you have Mac OS X, you don't want to reinstall a whole new operating system. It's pretty much the same thing. So, you can buy the server tools additionally and just install that right over your operating system. So, I thought that was pretty smart of Apple. Now, these, that might just seem like a couple of new features. Those are just a couple out of over 250 new features. And I'm going to have a list, I'm going to have a link to read all fe the features. And, um, yeah. Now, please... I don't want to be mean, but I know you, I said that I have Lion. I can't give you guys a free copy, or if you ask me, and I can't make videos about Lion until it comes out. Why? Well, for two reasons. I can't show you the features. Number one, it's against my YouTube partner agreement. I can't display content, which I don't own, and I do not own Lion. Apple's giving me an early copy, it's, and if they don't want me to show people stuff, I can't. And it, so it's against my Google agreement and it's against my Apple agreement because as a partner I am not allowed to show people Lion before it comes out. So but I'm allowed to make this video because I'm just talking about it and telling you what Apple has already told you. So yeah, I can, I can if you comment I can answer questions about it that I'd be allowed to answer or I can point you in the right direction. So feel free to comment questions if you don't understand. But no, I cannot show you new features of Lion before it comes out. Anyways, thanks for watching MacHeads101. I hope this um, gave you a better idea of what Lion is and if you'd want to upgrade or not. And if you want to read new features, just uh, click in the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.